Let's look a little bit at causation, causational relationships. Because of the fact that, due to the fact that, sense. Now these are all linking something to something, right? A happened and caused B to happen. B happened and caused C to happen. So because of, due to, and sense. Because of the fact that market demand has shifted, we now, due to the fact that market demand has shifted, we now, since market demand has shifted, we now, and this is also a great way to show our transition, right? We're moving from one topic to another topic by saying previously, because of something and now something, due to something and now something, since something and then now something. So it's a really good transition idea. Because of, due to, as a result of, in view of, the low response rate, our survey. So this is the exact same idea. Because of the low response rate, our survey, due to the low response rate, our survey, as a result of the low response rate, our survey, in view of the low response, our survey. And again, this is the same idea. Because of A, something happened in B. So now I'm gonna talk about B. I just finished talking about A. These trends can, trends are often used in business. These trends can cause, these trends can result in, these trends can be the reason for, these trends can be responsible for, these trends can contribute to, these trends can lead to, a change in, and again, this is the exact same idea. We're, ha we're having some kind of A, and A will cause, result, be responsible for, contribute to, and then we move on to B, you see? So this is the way we do our transition. It's another way for transition, only making it very clear. I just talked about A, and A causes B. I just talked about A and the result is going to be B. I just talked about A and A is responsible for B. So now I'm going to talk about B. Changes in satisfaction will, this will here means it's going to do something, right? So we're going to cause something to happen. Changes in satisfaction will result from. Changes in satisfaction will follow from. Changes in satisfaction will be a result of. Changes in satisfaction will be due to. Changes in satisfaction will be a consequence of. And then we have D, decreased quality, for example. So again, we're doing the same thing. Something A will follow from, or in this case, that would be B follows from A, or B happens due to A. B is a consequence of A. So in these words, it's a little bit reversed uh, order, right? But it's still the same idea. I just talked about A. Now I'm going to talk about B. B is due to A. B follows from A. B is result of A. 